for him. Parker also said Whoa! he'll app there in the cast. 80%. And hopefully they can make a far run. But it would come at the cost of G2, which are like the best hope that Europe might have. <laughs> I mean, Vettis probably been playing well, but G2, they're the reigning hammer champions. Yes. They did it in the lower bracket run last year. Last time they were dropped down in the very first round by Wolves, who have found themselves suffering at the same second. Uh-oh, they play on the other stream, or are currently playing on the other stream for their own lives. So we could end this day with only one EU hopeful left after all three came through in the upper bracket. I mean, I have to say, with only three European teams coming in, I'll, I'll say it right ahead. I, I'm no longer a caster, so I can say I'm definitely biased towards the EU side, so that's, that's completely fine. However, we, we want the best to move through, and if EU is not the best in the match, then so be it. The better team will win, and they will be the team to actually deserve that hammer. Now, we do have the sense coming through to get it with the glass from Elma. So it is uh, going to be good to see where this is going to go as we're heading into the laundry room. So basement, I'm just doing the, uh, the plane I'm style. Doing the sound the... Of a plane. <laughs> I'm doing the sound of a plane as it goes around. I'm a professional, 30-year-old. <laughs> Same. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the take here underneath with the eyes on a, a bit of Benjamaster action. They, they had the great graphic Coming beforehand. Back. He Coming hasn't back. had the strongest year outside of the strongest possible performance at a major. But that is what happens when you set the bar. It's not only a rookie on their first aside last time, but a rookie who did it with only about a one month on the team. Yes. I mean, it's not like Liquid are moving too much around the map. Sometimes you see teams roaming. That is not really the case here. G2 will just have to plant things. It's the defense meta. You're expecting it this way. Alamo bringing the glass. For those that don't know, it's not actually Changing unusual max. to have it on Oregon for nope. this sort of take, but you have to play it properly. As they steady themselves towards it, Tubral might be able to buy them sometime. The new operator uh, has some cool that they can keep against potentially the hatches. Not that one. Seems to be the drive when you've got Blue Wall, when you've got Freezer Wall, or even Moto, depending on playing against it. There's no Kaid, so it'll just be a sort of matter of delaying and delaying and pushing G2's approach. Oh, Freezer's not going to be the bait. There it is. The, the Zoda Canister is going to give Maverick some work to do. He's also a little chilly himself. I was going to say, he should be on the meeting. Hatch. This is the most important hatch and really to, uh, to have control of. So if you manage to keep that one shut for a little bit longer, a lot more time gets wasted. This return is also being used just to prepare for the execute. That will come down in about 30 seconds from now, making sure that G2 can hit from multiple different sides at the same time. We have Uno, uh, who's ready on the laundry stairs. You see a bit of presence as well on the uh, freezer side and the rest looking to drop E-Box. Holding patiently at this point. You're sort of expecting the moment here, but what do you think they're waiting for, Milos? Honestly, waiting for the right information. You have the Flores here who can destroy all sorts of utility that is on the site. The Tubarao, you just have to wait them out, and that's exactly what happened. But you have to wait for that proper timing and maybe eliminating one player either here on the Shaiko spot behind the pillar or in Freezer. 30 seconds left, just about. It's all gonna have to come very quickly as Doki finally gets the clearance here onto the bottom of blue. And the break starts to come right across Laguna, swinging wider and wider onto the pillar side. The blinds in the cover of the smoke, they might just move in and amongst it. When you're up against your own smoke, well, you're gonna be inside there's just as much the role of Ascends. The roly polies are out and so is the player. The kit is cold, the players are a little bit hot. Laguna's the reset, the Nesk. All across the board, and Alamo, as I said, is falling right into the smoke. Cannot do anything about that. As Orton forces, they suddenly show up in force. Resets is going to go for a wider retake here. As Lagonis gets Alamo, gets the cut across. It's Doki, and then it's Resets with the double. I said he wanted the retake, and he hops up and puts the two players to bed, leaving just the Australian player Virtue left alone with 30 seconds, goes down to the bottom of white, but everything is as noisy as you like. For this engagement, they're either side of the Finca, so they're just gonna see if they can try and force the first, but another EA1D means we have to stop, we have to take this moment in this break as G2's gone back to the balls to try and find where the players are. Has Palo been missed drone? Yes, he has. I just saw the drone come in and leave, but he gets traded out. Luckily, Volps though strikes onto Benjamaster, leaving him in a 1v2 situation now with a player right behind the B bomb chassis and one is security. He has some tough choices to make. One minute 20, Volps. They're gonna go for the plan. It's currently a one versus one, but if he drives it, everybody caught off on that execute. Gets one to stop the flawless. But with 30 seconds left, finds a second. Canister sort of says, look, let's be honest. At this point, it's all for stats. After they bounce back for the third round, this fourth one has just been shut out.
That's what they say about the SAS shotgun. Believe in it, and Believe. it will work. And that's exactly what happened Second in this spot. That, that was such incredible range out of the M59 or M590, but it works out. Uno, I mean, like you said, M, there's not much that you can do in this spot. The bottom of Armory, you might not know about the loose player that's already on the far end. Nest is around the top of Armory stairs, but he's going to quickly rotate his way back towards it. The Stoke, he does get caught in the double window. Alamau, he's going to try and scream his way up from underneath, but you're sort of wondering where the rest of the G2 players are. There's one outside the double window that's going to try and keep cover. Benz is able to get the take of his own as he's causing some chaos onto the game's window. The game's is playing. He's trying to draw attention from Uno, going for the plant, but Virtue gets the lock to five versus four versus two. There's a quick cut off on a rotate. With his Valkyrie, because now you can put that rest of the intel on your Mira and on the Solus. New interaction, if you're unaware. Hash can now break the back end of a Mira window. As can any sort of ranged explosive. So you see a little bit of an uptick against holds like this. Bobs does get caught. Benja watching the rotate round on the back. Got a little bit too thirsty for the fight itself. And they're just trying to shepherd a bit of room here. Push back against Liquid inside the shower and see if they can be the ones sitting pretty. But both of them go down in the middle of it. Caught in a crossfire. For the most uh, e box hatch. Go for the Ooh. Benja. Slapped out of the server. Resets. He's had a great tournament, great bits, and he's often been able to bite a couple of bodies back into rounds where things have gone away from Liquid. There's Alamau getting one, a little bit lost in the source there, Doki. Thought maybe he was under pressure, but as Alamau's able to get his third drop into the box, what? is it an ace? Are we on for it? No. But he's, he's moving in inside the back end, but Bender and Alamau get kills apiece, and he's suddenly locked out alone once again. We find another player alone. Far and far away from the rest of the fight. 50 seconds for Palu. But you're thinking of this round on the back of a liquid timeout on Liquid's map. It's not going to do wonders for the mental. No, and, and Palu has been that player where if he's feeling the game, he's really into it, the, the motivation's up, he'll be screaming, he'll be yelling, he'll be all red. Ed sets it and blows it. Not yet. They hop out. They're going towards Small Tower. Good to see the goo mines there that were thrown in. They'll slow you down, chip a damage. With gunfights that are going to go through walls, you need that extra bit of damage. They're going to go for a dining execute right now. So they rotate it around because kitchen is not going to be safe. However, Alamo inside of the showers. Benja inside of dining Whoa. to get away. Virch is going to be a very hard hole to actually break through. They didn't really have anything for this. They're just going to try and muscle in through, but there's still all the reinforcements, all the deep. C4, that is the level of gun skill we're playing with here. But with 30 seconds, it's time for this to turn on. We have the smoke cover towards the back. The players forced out Nest with the drive up where Parley got the triple, but they're going for the plant. In the meantime, it's a five versus three. Lagones, will he stick it? Well, he's got the perfect cover too. Doesn't find it. Just drop cold, 15 seconds and a two versus two. Liquid, they recollect, dive all the way to the hard wall as the remaining G2 players double up, but it's all in a bulletproof on the right-hand side. They go either side. They win out the first fight. There's the second. Why Fabian's catching strays? Why? Because uh, of a story you just shared before we went live. So is Doki leaping and abounding towards the site itself. Uno on the rotate round with the kit on towards Spiral. He will find an engagement first. Lagonis is a bit off to his shoulder, but Doki's going to sort of try and pull them out of position. Second for the round. Palu, he's back to the site with only 30 seconds left, though. He's removed from the site. Lagonis watching, waiting at the back. Just needs to stop the kit. And because of that, well, G2's pulled themselves away. They're opening up the hatch drop. They're going to make sure that they can attack this all together as close as possible. Why go wide when you offer the risk? They're inside. They have... Could find the sneaky route here. Mr. Cell. Mr. Cell. Mr. And Fisher. We are looking at that macro now for, for a moment here. If, you, if, you'll, if you'll allow me the time, just because two rounds on the attacker are already a minimum that we look to... Not just on console, but in general in a current metagame. Liquid locking this down means that they have understood that G2 are going to take their time. But taking so much time, you can't really do much about clearing the top floor. There's a lot to do on this console. For those and still trying to get a blind, but they had the read here on the rotate. Resets does find Uno. Doki is being surrounded. Look at the aggressive retake. Wins one, can't get both. Palu trying to pinch their way up and get the cover on the hatch. If they win this control, then there is really no way for G2 to get a comfortable plant in at this point. They have to decide very quick. What do we do? Go for the site, go for the play, and hope the cover comes together. That seems to be the A road, and that seems to be the one that they go back against. Oh, no! Benja takes the head off for one. 
caught out on the drone. 30 seconds, and now they've got the decision. Do we try and focus on who's behind us, or do we try and push for what is in front? Virtue on the roof, still watching and waiting to see if they can catch this loose player, but he's moving slowly. It's the pressure now, a two versus two in this position. Uno tries to plant, but nothing is allowed. Takes a huge bit of damage. There's at least Ooh. their engagement A three versus one, but they've still got to try and put the kit down. Resets, he can do a hero play. He knows where the default is. They but the concern here is that verticality, two C4s, and a pulse, all the intel that they can utilize to build behind anything that is attempted on the second story. It's turning into a little bit of a nightmare here for Liquid. Virtue missed them though. Luckily, Uno was watching the hatch because they all were rotating around when he's watching the opposite side of it. They did not know where they are. Now the Nitro is going to be prepped as the plant is being attempted. Uno gets shut down as Reset pushes in. Two versus two at this point and they pulled off the kit. They find the kill though. Virtue swung his way up. They look away at the worst possible second. They don't have the connection. Just waiting for the blitz to make a good move, but as he goes in, it's just completely shut down I from mean. D2. Only Palu left. There's only been 10 seconds gone since the first kill. And he's looking like, T, where are you? What, why are you all dead? So what happened? That is when Brazilian juggling goes bad and you <laughs> unfortunately get in, but you have already exploded. They've thrown the utility and timed it well with your push. And that is, in a way, the negative thing about the E1D, because if the defenders oh. don't they're going to make sure that their sight is focused and driven. They have bodies above and bodies below. And Doki, how long are you going to sit here in a situation that becomes thinner and thinner as time goes on? Ben just behind the desk. And Alamau is behind. Ness gets the take. Doki gets Volps as well. In and amongst the chaos, they've been able to take a couple of bodies and fight for the trouble. I said, don't always peek on that swing, but Doki takes out resets. There's Benja. He's sort of saying, I'm sorry, mate. I don't have your ticket. You've got to go elsewhere. This desk is closed. <laughs> One. Gets rid of Lagonis. The Dockerby snuck up on, and suddenly there's that cool, that sort of clarion action moment of they are behind us, they're around us, and we've only got 30 seconds. With Liquid not clearing for the first time ever, the top floor, this is biting them back. They already lost two players. You're down, man, and there's the flank from Uno. I mean, the fight is right on the window. He's able to get the end of it. It's a two versus two with 20 seconds. The kit is cold, though, and that's the big defining factor. Resets. He takes the point in the fight. The rotate isn't quite in his favor. Benja gets his second. Oh. The C4 is on. But it will maybe connect some of the dots on where the G2 players are, so it can drive some of the focus. They've got to act before they get snuck up on, and there's the sneak. Benja and Alamau get one apiece of four versus three with a quick response from Volps here and a take from Nesk. They keep just the tightest hold on this body advantage, but with 30 seconds liquid, they got to make some action happen. Virtue no. with a double. Oh, get Everything on Nesk holding on here for liquid chances in SI20. Yeah, they, they absolutely get it. It's the same, sim, very similar story yep. as Oregon. They got themselves onto a free free.